Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to set up your Furbo dog camera to your broadcasting software so that your viewers can shoot treats at your dog. At the very end, I'll be doing a mini review of the Furbo and some of its basic features. So let's go! So the first thing you're going to want to do is download and install BlueStacks. Now there are other phone emulator programs out there. This is just the one that I have chosen to use. So once you launch the BlueStacks app, you're going to want to go over to the Google Play Store. Uh, and then you're going to want to search for Furbo and install that app. We're just going to search Furbo. There it is. And... Install. Once that's done, it'll show up onto the home page or your desktop into BlueStacks. Now you want to open it. Give it a sec. And then you want to log into your existing account here. Once you're signed in, you should have access to your camera. Um, it may take a little bit to connect. Sometimes, oh, you have to hit accept first, of course, for all that. Um, I've noticed that sometimes if it doesn't connect all the way, you might have to hit the three dots and go, go to this menu and then just keep kind of going back to the home page until Furbo will connect fully. So you may come across that problem. Also, if your Furbo is relatively close to your microphone, I recommend turning the volume down all the way down. Otherwise, you might get a weird echo in stream of your Furbo catching your voice. Now that you have BlueStacks installed and Furbo on BlueStacks, we're going to need to add it as a source onto Streamlabs OBS or whatever broadcasting software you choose to use. It should all work relatively the same. So we're going to go to sources over here. We're going to add new source. Uh, window capture, add source, um, I, since I already had it already, I'm going to do add a new source. We're going to call it Furbo. Okay. And then under window, we're going to choose BlueStacks. Done. Now, it depends on the layout of how you want Furbo to look on your stream. Of course, that's going to be all individual and up to you. I personally don't like having the BlueStacks bars, so uh, when I do a full screen view, I just kind of make the screen larger and crop as needed so that you don't see that. But you still want to keep the little treat icon on screen so that viewers can see it being, you know, moved up onto the screen. Another thing you can do is uh, if you wanted to make a smaller, like a picture-in-picture -picture version, you can do that but again i would recommend um putting a frame around this of some sort or if you click on it and you hold alt while you click and drag you can crop the window a bit to get rid of those but uh yeah that's totally up to you so these are some examples on how I've used Furbo on my stream. Keep in mind, it's still relatively new to me as well, so there might be some minor tweaking that still needs to be done. Um, but in this sample, I've decided to use the picture-in-picture -picture style with a frame over it. Um, I didn't want Furbo to be full screen to fully cover the gameplay, but someone had either cheered or had uh, given enough channel points to reward my dog on stream. Uh, in this one, this is the full screen example so that people can, you know, get a closer view of my dog being super lazy and deciding whether or not she actually wants to get up. But yeah, have fun with it. There's, there's going to be a ton of different ways that you can do this. Another little tip I can give you is how to add Furbo to your stream deck if you have one. All you have to do is open your stream deck app. Uh, we're going to go, since I'm using Streamlabs OBS, we're going to go under that category. I'm going to drag Source over here. We're going to title it Furbo, or, but you can name it whatever you want. You're going to go to the collect correct collection, uh, the correct scene, which mine is in live. And then uh, you can pick from your sources. So luckily, because I already named it Furbo in Streamlabs, it just automatically found it for me. And that's pretty much it. Now you can toggle your Furbo off and on at will. Boop. 
And that's pretty much it for setting up your Furbo to show up on your live streams. In the next few minutes, I'm going to go over a brief overview of what Furbo is and some of its functions. Furbo is basically a live dog camera that also dispenses treats. It needs to be plugged in and powered in order for it to work. Furbo does not use batteries of any kind. It uses a standard micro USB to power adapter. Furbo captures footage at 1080p with a 160 degree wide angle of view. Through the app on your phone, you can see and hear what your dog are doing, talk to them through your phone's microphone, and give them treats. If you have Furbo Premium, you can receive more alerts on your phone, such as barking, activity, person alerts, selfies, and an adorable doggy diary at the end of the day that shows all of your dog and sometimes human activities that the Furbo captured that day. Furbo can also listen out for smoke or CO2 alarm sounds and will send an alert to your phone in an emergency situation. Any of these features can be toggled on and off in the Smart Alerts section. The app comes with a list of recommended treats, but as long as they are dry, firm, round, and around half an inch in diameter, they should work just fine. You can fill treats as high as the fill line, then they're ready to fire. On the app, toss the little dog treat up with your finger. On your dog's end, they will hear a noise signaling that the treat is coming. You can also program this to be a different sound of your choice. I hope that answers any questions you may have, but feel free to ask me in the comments below. Um, you can also ask me when I'm live on Twitch. Link up here, right about here. Um, if you liked this video or if it helped you in any way, please hit that like and subscribe button. Um, and if you do decide to purchase a Furbo, I do have a checkout code for $30 off. It'll be in the description below. May your doggos be happy and hopefully not too fat. Thank you so much for watching.